election season has hardly been a breeze for Hillary Clinton. The Clinton Foundation is a fraud. She's a world-class liar. And this summer wasn't any less controversial. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Scene for 2016. I'm Bianca Hillier. Clinton did secure the Democratic nomination, but did she secure the nation's trust? Here are the details. The biggest story of the summer is the one Clinton probably most wants to delete from her past. Uh, too soon? Yep, Hillary's emails took center stage once again. On July 5th, FBI Director James Comey told us what the agency found after investigating Clinton. There is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. His advice? We cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. So no indictment, and people were mad. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump tweeted his reaction, saying, The system is rigged. Very, very unfair. But Hillary wasn't going down without a fight. The day before the Democratic National Convention, she announced Virginia Senator Tim Kaine as her vice president, marking the beginning of Clinton's comeback as her poll numbers began to rise above the summer's controversies. There has never been a man or a woman, not me, not Bill, nobody more qualified than Hillary Clinton to serve as president of the United States of America. As of September 1st, all national polls show Clinton beating Trump by at least 3%. And no one is happier about that than former president Bill Clinton. Whether you're a hashtag with her or you want to hashtag make America great again, you've gotten to know the two candidates over the past year. But your vote chooses more than just the president. It also chooses the vice president. Next week on The Scene, I'll tell you all about Trump's Mike Pence and Clinton's Tim Kaine. For The New Political, I'm Bianca Hillier.